So here we are again and right now we're going to see how to install and how to create special icons and new icons for Farming Simulator 22. Now we're going to need a template and we are going to need also also the new Giants Icon Generator. Now we can find the Icon Generator if I'm not mistaken Giant Farming Simulator 22 here we have here the Farming Simulator 22 Icon Generator. So we're going to click in there and we're going to download it. And we're going to see the special things that we need to do to set it up and to make it work properly. So once you've downloaded it, you're going to create a folder named FS Icon Generator in C or where you have your uh, Windows installed. Inside this folder, FS Icon Generator, you're going to unzip the new FS Icon Generator.exe. Now, things that you want to consider, you're going to click left on it, right click on it and properties, and in compatibility, you're always, you mark, you're going to mark, run this program as an administrator always, always. You're going to click apply and you're going to click OK. Now, and then you need to set where the game is, where the Giants editor is, and where your mod folder is located. For an example, we're going to select my game and we're going to go to my Steam library, Steam apps, common, farming simulator 22, and we're going to leave it just right here. We're going to click select folder and it's going to read the base game files. Now the editor, it depends on where you install it. In my case, it's C program files, giant software, giant editor 9.0, blah, 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 and editor.exe. And then the mod folder, you can select, it. it's going to select by default My Games Farming Simulator 2022 mods located in Documents, but in my case, since I have a special mod folder, I'm going to select my own mod folder. The one that we've been using lately is the FS22 mods tutorial, and I'm going to select this one. When you do so, it's going to read the base game, and it's going to read your mods. It's going to tell you how many mods do you have. Now here it's going to tell me that this is my FS2282 20 feet gooseneck and here I have my trailer. I'm going to double click and I'm going to check the options that I want to check on this on this file. So stock, stainless steel, these are my colors. Wheel setup, standard Nokian or white tires, rim color and the attacher type if I want a gooseneck or a bumper pool. I'm going to just go everything stock and I'm going to click OK. Now. The options right here, you should not you should not need to touch them. But in case you want to generate something different, website, mod icon, or whatever, you can change you can change them here. Like for example, right now we're going to generate first the mod icon. The mod icon is gonna change some settings here that you don't need you don't need to, to touch, neither to manipulate. So and it's gonna also tell us if we want to use a custom save directory or not just in case you want to check your files instead of just letting the software overwrite them. You're going to tell him if we want to calculate shadows, if we want to activate this folder or not, and it's going to predefine all the options. You should be good to go right now, this gooseneck trailer, and we click generate. When the process finishes, the outcome is going to be that in the folder, in our mod folder, which is going to be here, we're going to have my Icon Lizard Gooseneck DDS and it's going to look exactly like Giants wants them to look. Now, we only need to rename them. So, here we have our mod icon. So, I'm going to just copy this one and delete that one and go here and paste it here. Remember to remove everything else from here. So, these two files they need to go and I have my mod icon already generated. Now the mod store was also wrong. So we're going to go here and we're going to change the settings here. We're going to go to store icon. Store icon also predefines some stuff in here. We're going to just deactivate that. I don't want to debug load. Shadows and I'm, I have my own things activated here for it to look better. We generate it. And when the software finishes, if we open the mod store, it's going to be our gooseneck trailer generated. Looking nice. Now we need to remove the old ones and 
remove everything that it's not game friendly. So, here's that. Easy, fast, and according to the Giants guidelines. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next quick tutorial.